Etymon, Latin from Greek etumon, true sense of the word, from neuter of etumos, true. One, the originary of sound, etymon, encarnacion, vocalic motility, movement, shadow, sarong, across cave wall. Fingers permeated with languorous lilac dust, bardic tones resound, dance to flickering cave wall light. Features of the mouth, saliva glides, slippery, the enameled surfaces succumb to slick organic induction. Limbs extract de facto action as all writing is feathers. An oral strike, valor, concordance, orifice, orion, ordinal. Emanate forth spiral hypnotically, luminous as rune, momentary, lunar, flux, metempsychosis. Light waves radiate, rubicund, compound, inflect, centering the halation of each stretch. Two. We are anything but static beings. Indeed, we are in every way inherently dynamic. We are new dew pearled on the engorged lily lip, refracted, breathing, always as process. Sliver, sudden syllabic, ice flower formation, resonant of bluebells, hyacinth, and tulip. An incredible ability to make the double bass lotus resound across cave wall. Participle fishing expeditions, post-alphabetic, verbal mandalas, large and multi-vortexed. Examples of syllabants are the consonants beginning with the words sip, zip, seep, jeep. Dragonflies fly achingly slow, barely above the lantern rice paper of the ground. Burdened like metal, motile models. That's how you know it's going to rain. Three. Tongue lapse trifecta, alphabetic, syllabic, and logographic. A sequia willow, its sequined compluvium for the coruscated iridescent corroboration. An autonomy, arc bouton, aquifer of stray luminescence, climbing moonless palisade. Above the fleeting celestial filament clouds, spoken language. Diacritically formed firmament embellished with anis étoile. Showy, emotive, rose, wind, exhalations in fleeting terminal racemes. These are cerebrals, where the tongue rolls back a bit. Diviner's sage, diastic frames, reflet. In the land of invented languages, an inverted lexicon insists, marks, jottings, marginalia. The true etymon of Jupiter being not Juven's pater, but Jovis pater. Four. Even when, still as can be, we are a system of incongruous inquietudes. Our heart is beating, 
our circulatory system is functioning, nerve impulses are traveling through the body like atomic comets, breath flowing in and out. Direct so sibilance after hoarfrost, false indigo and red fox speedwell, the aqua hermetic mist. Plosives are the astral explosions usually associated with the letters P, T, K, B, D, G, where the airflow torrent from the lungs is interrupted by a complete closure made in the mouth. Bog, dog, dock, pock, talk, full stop. The cockneal louse on oak trees in the Holy Land. Tick, tock, clock, waiting for the devastating blow in its own geological time. That is very low, very slow. Five. The palaces of articulation, arcs of elaboration, acts of palazzo peregrination, alveolar hissing syllabants, mashrek artifacts recall paraheel, peregrine, aubergine, and au pair fatale, la ferme auberge des frères with its rope codices. Waxing lumen, lantern skin glimmers through narrow passum, a species of expressive proof known beyond one's own island. Philadelphus, its cacination evident in the breadth that is released, tangerine delight. Lossless sound permeates papaver somnivorum. Semivows trace light through white wisps of spring pepper flowers, some already broken to reveal in nascent embryonic forms. Ginebra, gin, gelato. Arrancame la vida en archangel arch. Amaryllis and sibidiums in cirrus snowflake cops. Six. Fricatives are sounds associated with letters such as F, S, V, Z, where air passes through narrow constriction, turbulently creating noisy sound. Diptongo, triptongo, hiato, madigral, tongas, coral palette packed with vivid polychromasia of sublunar tropical reef fish. The code is a phalanx. The code is syntagma. Two articulators close together, interval, notation, call elements of a set. Slowly roll up to standing, teach tada asana, the why where I and I converge. The slack of the tongue against the chanting upper teeth, sentient against inner curvature of molar arc. This turbulent airflow is called frication. Seven. Outside the window, Upper Egypt glides by, tableau of ochre plains, poetic palm oases, oars slip marsh grass while men cast plumes of nets, skimming smoky water. I drink deeper, three Neruda fish in the sky, its bottom pebbly with stars. 
I know not the first letter of the alphabet. There are five gutturals made at the back of the throat. Cloudless air of pyramidal heat, El Nilo al Nile, ribbon of O'Denile satin, printed with pink poppies, Edwardian moon motifs amid cerulean reflections. Malevolent spirits of river mystic from Moses' reed eddies. The two great heron tributaries join at Khartoum. One of the porcelain cognate pitchers, shaped like a fish, sings when syllables are poured. Eight. Consonant classes in most languages, nasals, liquids, and vowel-like forms are usually voiced. Vowels volatile but effulgent, transparent edges speak all. An annual with brilliant white oral red cognates growing on a central bulbous pod, a legume that splits into two vowels with the seeds attached to one edge. In the lilac copse, sweet transparent dusk permeates skin brushing your face sotto voce. This tree has duende, sounds like a lament, sings like el chocolate. In post-classical grammatical writings, the primary word forms a derivative, its inductions, seductions, asymmetries. The way code is your native language. Vowels with ma macrons and tildes in a hesiod of breath. Nine. Phoenicians recognize three palmetto properties, casting mosaic quality or timbre of a vowel sound. These are cerebrals, where the tongue is rolled back a bit. These are ghost deer, transparent white in twilight, lucid, lambent, heart-stopping with unicorn steps through slatted shafts of forest floor light. The bud opens bursting from position of lips, whether they are flowered, narrowed, or softly pout. Your tongue probes in the fact of vocalizing the highly sensitive wound from which the vowel is swooned. Chauvet Cave, Chatelaine, Cheman Ver, Cluny La Sorbonne, Champagne, on ne le boit pas, on le sable. Je ne sais quoi, Sherpa of orange blossoms, origami, encomia, and amnesis. Ten. Awakening at dawn on ocean sand, a meteor shower moving 90,000 miles per hour, moving from dynamic to static explication, not away from, but into stillness. Ferns that feathery feed on air, staghorn feel scratched, the pod produces milky latex droplets called semantic serum. These are palatals where the tongue touches the back of the throat. Drifting to sleep, like fishing, where concentration coils cis lunar crease, its media mantra, antipodal asanas, Pisces with penumbra, a charon or hatchet, but rounded, worn, 
tufted perennial with blue, numinous flares. The internal rotators and groin will soften when adducting the legs in simple twists such as half lord of fjorder, the firth of forth. What a wonderful fish flower shape. Eleven. Guttural speech sounds articulated near the back of the oral cavity. To extract the dye, shells were broken and the mollusks were macerated in basins. Unsung spires of phytoplankton, dinoflagellites, photosynthetic pigments, algal bloom. A fluid unknown to solar, lunar, or astral contrivances ashore. Asanas start within, opening to stronger and more flexible body, an expanded open heart and clearer awareness. The hamstrings, internal rotators, groin are intensely stretched. An oasis of color among the coconut grows. Padanus and banana plantations, cucumber starlings, church, sedentary, cryptocrystalline form of the mineral quartz. Where we see shadow, they see forces out of the sight of light. Twelve. Phalange de limon, lemon phalange, slivered lemon, citrus limetta. Are citric semivowels simply lemon zest, or are they actually stella filant? Golden plover, Pacific black duck, swiftlet swallows, Tongan whistler, henge henga, and blue crowned lorikeets, henga. These are dentals where the tongue touches the teeth. Plants which produce masses of variants, like the polysemi pruned with sea girt, non sequiturs, or scissors as they lose their color. The now dazzling space that commas take, period. Citrus semivowels are shooting stars, sounds astral in aperture. Reflecting presciently the eerie radioactive albino crocodiles sulk in snowdrifts downwind, shy, shadowy, shallow, downtime of the cave. Thirteen. Contemplative, fragrant caves paint forgotten dream. Discovered in 1994, Francis Chauvet Caves walls of artwork 30,000 years old, simply spectacular. Its child footprints may be the oldest human footprints that can be dated accurately. Layers of firefly letters, sparkly calcite, coat every reflective surface of recalcitrant air. The master perfumer sniffing out concealed caves. Five times of cat and dog tilts, warming the spine and refining the connection of breath to movement. The once citrus Malabarista, now Buddhist archaeologist philosopher, aubergine blossomed magnolia, butterfly vine, budding clematis. 
Your words are lemon astringent, aureate, yellow quince, etumos, bursting canaries of light. Fourteen. Front facing, seated with the other, not touching except for the solid force of empty space, true granite texture and sheer mass of what's not there. That's what binds you. I am tectonic plates. You are Gondwandian space. We are oral, arterial, protozoic Australia, a torn limb of tropical Antarctica. From ancient Greek etumon, true sense of a word per its origin, from etumos, true, real, actual. Mindful of origin inside, flowers that close their blooms to sleep at night. The episteme, etymon, the gold ankle bracelet falls, forever lost into fossilized fern underfoot. As if your mouth were a cave, a place where you begin and where you end, a sibilant or a psychological scintillation, soliloquy, serrated syllables. And...